the Kashina was associated with uh, one of the larger convoy uh, battles that took place off the coast of North Carolina. Uh, the U-576 was damaged and was on its way back to, uh, back to Europe when it came across a convoy in the daylight. It didn't have the ability to dive, uh, so rather than uh, run away on the surface, it decided it was going to uh, launch a full bow salvo of torpedoes. And in the process, it launched four torpedoes, three of which hit uh, targets, the Bluefields, the J.A. Mowinkle, and the Chalor. They were all struck by the 576. Bluefield sunk immediately, uh, and the Chalor and the Mowinkle were, were just severely damaged. Uh, subsequently, the uh, Unicoi, another merchant vessel in the convoy, rammed the 576, which uh, severely damaged it, and then uh, two Kingfisher aircraft dropped aerial depth charges on the 576, which resulted in it ultimately sinking with the loss of all the crew. In the aftermath of the battle, the, uh, the U.S. Navy tug Kashina came to assist the Mowinkle and the Chalor and try to tow them to safety. In the process of doing this, the Kashina unfortunately ran into the Hatteras minefield that were, were friendly mines there to sort of protect merchant shipping from the U-boats, but ultimately ended up sinking the Kashina. Uh, and the Chalor ended up sinking in the entrance of the Chesapeake Bay. It's still there today. And the, uh, the J.A. Mowinkle was ultimately declared a total loss and scrapped. Uh, as a dive shot, the Kashina is, is actually pretty amazing. It's uh, Because of its size, it was never altered as a hazard in navigation. Many of these larger vessels that would interfere with uh, shipping lanes were dynamited or wire dragged in order to not pose a hazard to, to navigation. Uh, this didn't happen with the Kashina, so it still looks like a shipwreck. It's got this, uh, the bows intact, the stern is intact, and uh, it's, it's very sort of a picturesque, classic looking ship. It's very recognizable to, to someone who wouldn't uh, otherwise be familiar with, with uh, debris fields. The, uh, the bow sticks up about uh, 15 feet off the sediment. There's two anchors intact on the, on the deck there still. Uh, amidships, the boilers and the condenser are very apparent. And then the, uh, the stern section, the steering quadrant is visible. And uh, the whole site is now just teeming with life. Uh, sharks, uh, bait fish, you know, all, all sorts of life has, has sprung up on the site. And it's, it's pretty a pretty exciting dive.